Hello there, and welcome to the family of mFiles users. In this video, we'll be looking at the mFiles desktop application and its user interface. When you open mFiles, you'll be greeted with a list of vaults that you have access to and a global search, which you can utilize to look for information across the vaults. Now this is mFiles. Up here, you can see the name of the vault you're currently working in. Vault is where all the information is stored in mFiles. Here, you can find the built-in views that can be found in every mFile solution. We'll go through these in a certain order, but hold on tight. There is a reason for that. Within all, you can find plenty of views you can dive into, and you can even create your own if you wish. Views are basically saved searches based on metadata, which you can use to browse information in mFiles. In recent, you see everything you've accessed within the past 30 days. Assigned shows all your assignments, and checked out lists everything you currently have reserved for modifications. Now, let's take a look at pinning and the pin tab. Using this feature is like saving information on your computer desktop to access it frequently. You can pin an item from the context menu. The pinned items can also be grouped to make accessing them even easier. From the Create menu, you can create new documents and other objects directly in mFiles. Up here, you can find the Quick Search, which you can use just like any text search, by typing in the search terms and letting mFiles do the rest. mFiles will also suggest filters for you to make your search more specific. If you want to narrow down your search even further, you can utilize the Advanced Search and use metadata values as search phrases. You can also find more filtering options from the left pane. You can choose to search for your terms in the object metadata or contents, and you can choose the type of objects you're looking for, such as documents. Whenever you want to return to your home page, just click the vault name, or if you want to return to the vault list, Click the house icon next to the mFiles logo. Let's talk about the metadata card. This information is the driving force of the system, and every piece of information in mFiles has one of these. Metadata makes it easier for you and your colleagues to find this document later on, so make sure to keep this information up to date. There are a couple of icons in the top right corner of the metadata card, which you can use to view the document activity feed. Open the metadata card in full screen or close the metadata card. Below the Metadata tab, you can find the Preview tab. Here, you can view the document contents without opening it in a window of its own. 
The last thing we'll be looking at is the user menu. Here, you can find more functions that you might find helpful. For instance, you can change the interface or the fault language, or change the default landing page to one you prefer. Now you're a bit more familiar with your new system and I hope you enjoyed the video. But if any of this was confusing, don't worry. There are more in-depth videos for all these different parts and functionalities. I'll see you in the next video.